Look at this, just one of billions of galaxies, each home to billions of stars. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? Out there somewhere, are we alone? Are there other civilizations looking back at their own night sky, asking the very same question? For decades, this profound question felt almost unanswerable. But in 1961, one man, astronomer Frank Drake, decided to tackle it. He didn't have a definitive answer, but he gave us a framework, a way to organize our thoughts. He gave us the Drake equation. This isn't a formula that gives us a precise number, but rather a series of probabilities multiplied together to estimate how many intelligent, communicative civilizations might exist in our own Milky Way galaxy right now. It starts with the rate of star formation in our galaxy, then the fraction of those stars that have planets. Next, the average number of planets per star that could actually support life. From there, we consider the fraction of those habitable planets where life actually does arise. And then, the critical leap, the fraction of those life-bearing planets where intelligent life evolves. But it doesn't stop there. We also need to estimate the fraction of intelligent civilizations that develop technology capable of sending detectable signals into space. And finally, perhaps the most uncertain factor, the length of time such civilizations release those signals. Do they last a million years, a thousand, or do they vanish quickly? Each variable in the Drake equation carries immense uncertainty. Our current understanding of exoplanets and astrobiology helps us narrow some down, but others, like the lifespan of a communicative civilization, remain pure speculation. Plug in optimistic numbers, and you could find millions of civilizations in our galaxy. Use pessimistic ones, and the answer might be just one. Us, the Drake Equation isn't about giving us the answer. It's about breaking down an enormous question into smaller, more manageable parts. It highlights what we know, what we hypothesize, and just how much we still have to learn. It's a powerful tool that continues to fuel the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, reminding us of the incredible possibilities that might exist, just waiting to be discovered.